This is a digital multimeter and it's a very important tool in electrical and electronics repairs or design. And this tool is called a multimeter just to mean it's a combination of multiple meters, ideally many meters. And what are those? We have one, the voltmeter, and that one measures DC voltage that is from this point to that point up to 600 volts having started from 200 millimeters and then it can do alternating voltage measurements then it has an ammeter an ammeter to measure current and this measures direct current and no alternating current there's an option that has alternating current measurements now we have the ohmmeter measuring from 200 ohms to 200 million ohms and of course with that we have the diode mode for testing diodes and this is continuity test with a beep that allows you know if something is behaving like a wire but of course attached to the digital multimeter are the digital probes so the common normally attains or accepts the black probe and then uh, in case we wanted to measure voltage or resistance that is ohms then we will pull out this in here. However, if you wanted to measure current, then we would have to shift it here. That is in the magnitude of 10 amperes. This measures also current, but only in the milli ampere ranges. That means the 20 milli and up to a maximum of 200 milli, you will put the probe here. So anyway, that being said, this tool is very important in measuring those values and those values are what you depend upon to tell whether a device is working perfectly is at the right voltage or has failed now for instance if i wanted to find out whether a resistor was blown i would put it in continuity mode with a beep and if i do not get any resistance value across it then i will force to push uh, to ohmmeter and ohmmeter reading if it doesn't read then we'll have no because most resistors simply blow out and read out of limit that ol means out of limit so that is the scenario that we would use now for instance if i wanted to know if a battery is functional i would do two things measure the voltage across its terminals if it is a rechargeable battery and the voltage is below or below one ohm I know it is most likely a dead battery or has been depleted for a very long time which makes it almost unreliable to use. However it was measuring about 3.4 to 4 ohms for a lithium ion battery. I would know that battery is most likely capable of storing charge and then that will send me to now measuring the charging current and for how long it takes to fill up. Now using the time it took for it to charge up to full, for the voltage raised to maximum, I can deduce how much charge it has so far absorbed and kept. And in that way, we will be able to tell that about, ah, sorry that I went into very technical things, but anyway, this is a multimeter, so ask no more. See you in the next video.